We fit. This is part two of moving to Okinawa. This is the first week. So when you get here, this is what you are going to be going through. <laughs> TLF, Hershey, and then they all go back to the street. It's gonna make it sound confusing, but it's not confusing. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of TL different TLFs. Hershey TLF is the closest. You won't have a license until Wednesday. Suggest if your sponsor can set up yeah. Hershey TLF or when you call, specifically ask for Hershey. Yeah, theoretically but your sponsor shouldn't set everything up for you. Pets I don't think are allowed. In Not in Hershey TLF. Yeah, no, there's so a specific uh, TLF further that's further back specifically for pets. Yeah, but it's not it's not that far away. It's just Hershey is the closest to the VX. It's literally right across the street. Mm -hmm. We had a suite and it was really nice. When we got there, it was fully stocked because Jeremy has an awesome squadron. Whoop! Go Woo. night on night. You should have said that. Go night on night. Whoop! <laughs> ARS. <laughs> night on night ARS. You rule. <laughs> Always there. <laughs> Do this. Oh, our sponsors yeah. were really good when we got yeah. here. And like so. the whole squadron, like they just really good, like really Met us at the airport, yeah. got us flowers because it's our anniversary, so. gave us a hug. It's good. You have a fridge, you have a stove, a microwave. There's also a laundry facility there that's free. Um, yeah, or if you already have a friend here that you want to do laundry at their house, I'm sure they would let you do laundry at their house. And that's the facility, basically. They also have a couple of paid laundromats. Things to bring in your bag. An umbrella. Umbrella. Because you might be coming in rainy season. Mm -hmm. Or typhoon season, which is basically, they all just kind of group together. Yeah, Move super rainy season. There is not a huge selection in the BX of items. So if you're like me, who's a thrift shopper, then go buy one at Walmart. Yeah. or Target or Goodwill. Also bring a light jacket if you're coming, mm -hmm. I would say November through March. Yeah. Just bring a jacket. Yeah, just a white jacket. Um, yeah. Or bring a jacket, bring yeah. boots, bring all that stuff. You have yeah. two big bags per person. Mm -hmm. You can fit it in. First week, first thing you wanna do is set up your cell phone. Cell phone. Probably the most complicated thing you're gonna do on island is set up your cell phone. You've got uh, three companies here on island. You've got AU, You've got SoftBank and you've got Domico. AU we found works great everywhere. Um, inside the house, outside the house, up on the northern tip, southern tip of the island, it works everywhere. Everywhere really, really well. SoftBank, uh, the experiences that we've got in my squadron from people at SoftBank, it's not so great. Um, you could be in your house and not get reception. Granted, the houses are concrete houses, uh, but still, so they don't blow over able, with a typhoon, but you should be able to get. You should be able to. Uh, yeah. some internet or some phone coverage inside your home. Domoco I haven't heard much about. I do know that they have it uh, like inter big international plans like if you're gonna go like TDY somewhere often. That's the big thing with Domoco is their international plans. We went with AU. If you get iPhones, we have a Magic Jack number that we have in the States and they have a Magic Jack app. So that's yep. how we call back to the States. Yep. You just put it on your phone and put a Magic Jack number. If you don't have a Magic Jack already, go ahead and buy one in the States. And it works with wireless. Yeah. That's the big thing about wireless or about Magic Jack is it's and on your iPhone it works with wireless. So Yeah. So like well we have an internet plan, so we don't even have to have wireless on our phone. So like when someone calls the Magic Jack number, let's just say my best friend, because I talk to her as much as I can, she'll call and my phone will ring. Wherever I am, I don't have to be in the house, I don't have to be near a computer, mm -hmm. it's just my phone will ring. So okay, go get cell phone. Um it takes about an hour to two hours. If you choose AU or SoftBank, it's in the BX. Mm -hmm. You can just walk over there, set it up, mm -hmm. shop, do all that. We found that AU had the better plans and the better coverage, so that's what we went to roll with. Yeah. Because my squadron does, uh, we do a lot of alerts, so I need to be able to be contacted everywhere. So that's what we rolled yeah. with. But don't expect them to be like plans in the state. You're gonna wanna go to the commissary. Yep. Stock up on food mm -hmm. for the week mm -hmm. and yeah, because you have the big fridge and everything. You have sticker chart. Yeah. Because Price a little fruits bit and inflated. veggies are, yeah, they're inflated. You're getting cola, but still it's hard for me to justify spending $10 on a sack of potatoes. So, like a five pound sack of potatoes or 
15 to 20 dollars for a watermelon when they're yeah. in season. That's like, about the size of that. That big. Yeah, we had a potato as the size of the watermelon the other day. And they grow things here, like their potatoes are huge, their carrots are huge, their, yeah. their, their sweet potatoes are purple. Yeah. Don't know why, I think it's something with the soil, but they're cool. purple, they're yeah. cool. Like $2 for an avocado. Yeah, it's mm. just be prepared. Then you're gonna go to the newcomer's brief on, I think it's Wednesday, and I, I'm pretty sure it stayed the same. You're gonna learn a lot of stuff mm -hmm. the newcomer's brief. You're gonna bring your kids with you. Um, what, else, what did we learn? We covered a lot of things. We covered, um, like we had a basic introduction uh, to the island and to the base, and we had a greeting by the Wing King here. Um, they told us some customs and courtesies and a little bit of history about Okinawa and uh, with regards to the Okinawans. They covered the curfew here on island, which is a big thing. Um, it may change three, four, seven times by the time you get here, whoever's watching. You also learn about TRICARE when you're here, about the specifics of, of the TRICARE on island. If you have a four-year-old and above, or no, I guess five-year-old, four and below can go to a pediatrician. If it's five and above, they have to go see family practice. Things like that that aren't the same because there's so many people on island that they treat that there's, it's, it's limited. And same thing with dental, you're only seen once a year. You're not seen twice a year. At the newcomer's brief, you get your driving test. Yep, you take a driving test. They spend about 30 minutes. They kind of give you the rules of the road. The stop signs are triangle, so they look a lot like yield signs. Um, so you, they, <laughs> you gotta be careful with that. And they also look like the yield signs out here, so. And the fire hydrant signs look yeah. the same. I think they cover for 30 minutes and then they let you test for 30 minutes yep. and have your license renewed before because when your license like let's just say you just have a couple more months left on it when it ends your sofa license that is it here it ends too and some people don't know that but do that before you a couple other things that they cover in the newcomers brief are restricted establishments that are on island be careful when you're walking around because their views of um, like sex and pornography are a little bit different than um, America. So you could be walking through a store and boom, there's a random section that sells that kind of stuff. So um, there are a couple establishments that are tagged for um, child pornography. So you'll be briefed on what places to go and not to go. There are also some places where other services are not allowed to go into because they go in there and they rough people up. So the locals don't like them there. So some medications are off limits, like Japanese medications, because it's like taking Wrong. codeine yeah. in the states. Yeah, that they just sell over the counter. So if you're caught with that, it's not a big deal. No. So um, and then they also tell you everything that can kill you, both in the in the sea and on island. Oh, well, they have a little job fair at the end. Too. Yeah. Like if you're looking for a job, mm -hmm. there aren't that many available, mm -hmm. but. They do have a little, like, show you where you can work and stuff for the civilian, for the spouse, the dependent. Buying cars. Buying cars is probably the easiest thing that you can do here on island. Um, you just get to whoever you want to buy it from. Um, you're going to get that individual. And this is specific to Kadena here. What I did, found the person that I wanted to buy the car from, liked the car. I'm like, okay, let's do this. We exchanged money and then we went to the... Uh, base legal and they have a paper there that the buyer signs and the seller signs and then somebody at base legal stamps it And that's good for a week. We went to a insurance place. that's in the USO here and It was super easy. We just went in Told them what kind of insurance we wanted to have what kind of coverage rather um, It's a little bit different from United States um, You just have Yeah, everything is up front uh, You could pay three six nine or a year uh, it's, it like as many months that you want, so. Yeah, and then we pay for a year and it's about $300, a little over $300 for the year. So have that saved up <clears throat> if you know you're going to be buying a car and you want the full year coverage. They also have here uh, a JCI, a Japanese Compliance Inspection. That's something that every car here on island does. Um, and it's a big long process. Uh, we could put a link to that in the, in the notes below. Um, to kind of give you a better idea of how that works and things that you can do. But you generally want to make sure that your, your JCI is current or you're going to have to pay for, to get one done. 
and they'll generally say on the stickers, hey, JCI is due at this time, or the seller will let you know when but it's due. a lot of times sellers won't say, so that's something you need to ask, because if it's due in like three months, mm -hmm. some JCIs can cost up to $800. Depending so on what's wrong with your car. Yeah, but like, let's just say you got, I mean, they're all older cars, mm -hmm. but let's just say you got one that's running down, and you're like, oh, that's gonna be an easy fix if it doesn't pass JCI, and it's $800, and you just spent, let's say, $2,500 plus $800, where if you just wanna, buy one, go ahead and get one that someone has just updated so you have two years to do the JCI or that it, does, it has like a year left on it. Don't buy one right out because you're new to that, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Unless you're buying like a $400 car, you know, hmm. which it, there are $400 cars in good condition. Yep. So, so some people buy a car before they get their license and then they just don't drive it. Um, we waited till after because there's the lemon lot, which is really close. It's right across from the BX on the other side yep. of the BX. So we would just kind of walk there every day, or you can check Okinawa Buku, which is basically the Craigslist for the island. Yep. Don't spend a lot on a car. I mean, mm -hmm. these are island cars. Some people get here and spend ten, twelve thousand dollars on yeah. a car that you're gonna sell. I mean, I understand if you're staying here eight years and maybe that's your thing, but mm -hmm. they rust. <clears throat> There's salt water. I mean, yeah, and they're also all old. Like nobody's trying to impress anybody. Just no. don't spend a lot. I think we spent two thousand dollars on our van. It's a minivan, and it's great. We love it. Yeah. And I mean, we had never driven a minivan before, but mm. that's what we got. And we love it. We haul the kids around. And we go to the beach. We can carry our beach stuff in. Mm. But I mean, don't spend a lot of money. Yeah, and then people will do things like they'll buy Skylines because of Fast Furious. They'll say, oh man, I get a Skyline. It goes like 120 miles, it's four wheel drive. You can't the, the, limit, the max speed limit on the island is 80 kilometers, which is only like 50 miles an hour. Everywhere else it's 60, which is uh, 40 something miles an hour. Yeah, you so can't drive fast. It's, and they, they like to target, they being the uh, Okinawa police, they like to target the Y plates because Americans drive cars that have Y on the plates. That's just the way it is, it kind of designates us. Um, so they will, they'll target you. Uh, I've been in lines where Okinawans are like zooming past us, but they'll they'll target a white plate that's in front of us, who's going over the speed limit, but are being passed by other people. So just keep that in mind. They're not bad people. I don't mean to sound uh, crass and rude about them. It's just the way that so happens. That's what happens, so. yeah. So just be careful if you buy a fast car, don't buy a fast car. So, there's nowhere to drive. The majority of Okinawa drivers drive the speed limit or slower. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, they will also stop in the middle of the road to talk on their cell phones, which is kind of nice that they stop when they're talking on their cell phones, but they will literally stop in the middle of the road so watch out. right where they're at. <clears throat> and then you have, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you have vending machines all over island that will stop in the middle of the road to go get a vending machine item. So be and careful about that. Take in consideration parking is tiny. So then you go to housing. And that's the fun part. Yay. You get briefed and then they tell you there's a two week wait and then they'll call you. And so they call and they give you two options to look at. And if you don't like those options, if you turn them down, then you don't get TLA. You get TLA while you're staying in TLA. Mm -hmm. That's your temporary lodging allowance. A lot of money so the longer you stay in TLF the better which we stayed in TLF for a month mm -hmm. 30 days exactly I think 30 days mm -hmm. and we were <clears throat> complaining about it but then when we saw the paycheck stay in TLF it's worth it. it's worth it yep. to stay there you go and you say you have two options and they can put you basically anywhere they can put you on foster Lester shields or here. here yeah you don't have to work like, if you're working in any of those spaces, you can live on this space. Mm -hmm. But if, like, if Kadena is full, at that time it was 95%. I think it switches between 95 and 98%. Mm -hmm. But if it's 95% full, then you're allowed to live off base. Mm -hmm. If it's less than 95% full, then you have to live on base. Yeah. Like, we got called, we looked at the house, it was not clean, like they hadn't cleaned it. Or they put in, like, faux laminate wood and stuff, but... We had to wait 
another two weeks before we could move in. So we couldn't enroll the kids in school until we knew where we were living. So the kids were going crazy in yeah. Seattle. And I was going crazy in yeah. Seattle. You have government furniture mm -hmm. when you move in. And I think if, if you're allowed to only bring the 2500 if you're not in the Air Force, I think you can rent the government furniture out mm -hmm. the whole time you're here. Yeah. If you didn't bring a couch and you just wanted to continue using the government furniture couch, mm -hmm. you can't. But the beds are super, super hard. So, like but, yeah, it's, our household goods didn't even get here for a month after yeah. we moved in. So, which was nice when they got here. Yeah, it was not really gonna lie, nice. it was really nice. It's like but, Christmas. You can buy furniture here on island. Um, there are a couple places you can go. Again, you can hit up uh, Okinawa Buku or uh, Okinawa Yard Sales on Facebook. But there's also another place called Yellow Box you're gonna hear a lot about. It's basically Ashley Furniture. You can get on Okinawa Buku and find the same piece that someone else is selling because mm -hmm. everyone has bought Yellow Box furniture. Yeah. So that's just something to think about. Yeah. Especially during PCS season because everyone's getting rid of everything. Yeah. They don't have fencing. You can buy a fence like we just purchased a fence. It's old and rusted yep. um, for like $200. But if you go to Make Man and buy all new, you can run up to like $1,500 to buy just a tiny little fence. So people sell them. Just look on Okinawa Buku or look on Okinawa Yard Sales. Our house has a storage shed. Not all houses have a storage shed. Well, we have two. We have like one off our back patio and one around the corner. But things rest. I mean, yeah. like Brody's bike, our son's bike rested within like a week of being outside. Yeah. So even in the shed. Yeah. So just that's something to consider when you bring stuff over. Kids in school, there are three, three elementary schools. Yes, yeah. there's Sterling Heights, there's Kadena Elementary, and there's Bob Hope Elementary. So depending on where you live, you'll go there or one of them. And if you live off base, I think all of them go to one elementary school. I don't remember. It's either Kadena or Bob Hope. Mm. Um, but they're bust in. You can have them bust in. And I think if you register them before noon, the day before, then they can start school the next day. I think that's how we did it. Yeah. Our kids walk, like if they go to Sterley, our kids both started out at Sterley, but they both walk to school. There's no buses that go to Sterley, so they all walk. Or if they go to Ryuku, I think there's buses. That's a middle school. There are two middle schools, three elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. Yeah. And if you want to hear more about the, the schools and whatnot, just let us know in the comments below. Uh, same with the housing areas. If you want to know about housing areas, let us know in the comments below. We can get yeah. there for you. That's basically your first week here. Yep. And as far as military member goes, um, like the next day you're going to go to your squadron, at least for me. Next day I went to my squadron and they started my in-processing there at the squadron as well as the base processing because they're going to take you to finance and they're going to do your DTS uh, up there at finance and then they're going to do a couple other things. Uh, but that will start your base and your squadron in-processing. That's, that's your first week. Yeah, it's a, a lot show. of stuff. But it goes by really quickly and yeah. I mean we've already been here over a year and it doesn't yeah. feel like that at all. Yeah. So anyway, enjoy Sweet. and have fun and yeah. I hope that helped and let us know if you all have yeah. any more questions. Yeah. Bye. See you. Take it easy.